Hello and welcome to this little video about this steering wheel and how it is in Forza Horizon 4 and 3. This is 4 for an example. This is about the Logitech Momo racing wheel and I guess it's from 2005 I think. An old steering wheel. I got it from a friend of mine and I want to sh show you and say this is absolutely good value for money and very very amazing really we all know that this modern steering wheel from Logitech and some other brands cost a lot of money around 300 or so and this you can get used for 20 or 30 euros dollars pounds whatever and this is this is really really good and today I want to show you why and show you a little bit around it of course it comes with pedals not a clutch sadly but of course gas and brakes and like a little bit of a manual gear stick you can't really see it um, it only goes up so now this is an upshift but you have to pull it down or up of course you can configure it however you want um, this is it works really really fine of course it's with force feedback that's a pretty amazing and important point because a lot of wheels that you can buy from other brands don't even have force feedback which is really sad tunnel um okay <laughs> and the only some things about it is that it isn't really labeled like you don't they are la labeled in game as with numbers like this is the pe pedals are one two three four five six seven eight you can configure it however you want and that's a good thing because in Forza, like we all know, some cars are like, of course, manuals, like this Alpha 155, or with shift pedals. And I made two modes. This only works in Forza Horizon 4, which is a little bit sad. It doesn't really work in 3. There you can only use the shift pedals. This is... it's pretty sad. Um, but it's... it is just... You can really, really enjoy it. I haven't put the force feedback on too strong because I really like just cruising around and like oops in like fifth and just enjoy the sound. This is this is really relaxing. I do this actually a lot of times. I don't really even race all that much. I just play with some online players and have some fun. So as I said, you can configure it however you want as if you want to use the manual, sadly no clutch, or just the automatic. We are going to. What can we take? Uh, what what would be pretty good? Uh, let's take an. Let's take an Ferrari for example. This. Of course, you can like put it wherever you want. If you would like to shift the buttons, or like most people, the shift pedals, or you want to use the manual, you. Just of course, if you played this game of times, you know steering. Um, uh, those bonus is in German, I'm from Germany, and I have made two modes. And this is the second one. And now I can shift with the and I have to say, amazing shift pedals. I don't know if you can hear it on the mic, but the shift pedals have an amazing feel. They are not like cheap, wobbly plastic, they are really responsive and have really nice clicks this is I mean would you like to spend so much money on a newer one or I mean now okay don't wonder because of this tape if you can see I was an idiot when I got it um, <laughs> I accidentally broke it because I fixed it wrong in place so now this looks a bit ugly and it isn't like in the really best shape but I, I'm not complaining <laughs> This is, I mean, if you would say, oh, but it doesn't look as good as the newer ones, I can understand, but really, it's, uh, when do you really all the time look at it? I feel like on this button, I can go in the menu and also leave it, <laughs> because like when you start the game and everything, it's this button, on the bottom right, you can do it however you want, here's like, I think this is what, funny, I love this game. And this was for scrolling back, I think, for... Yeah, damn, okay. Is it... Oh no, this was for photo mode, okay. 
Yeah, camera changing, everything. Yeah, this was for camera angle changing. I can just say, it's worth it. It doesn't cost that much. I know it's old, but it still gets supported with, as you can see, the modern game. Let's see how it will evolve in Forza Horizon 5 when it came, comes out. But at this point, it works. And it can work with a manual. Just amazing. Of course, not in this typical shifting pattern, but up and down works. Yeah, that's just what I wanted to show you all. If people are seeing it and thinking of considering it, you can of course set it up as ever you want. Logitech, you have to Google, it's not in the Logitech G Hub. I mean, I have a full Logitech setup here. It's not in the G Hub uh, if you have this, but you can. Logitech still supports it. You can go on Google and search for this wheel, and you can find a program where you can optimize it. It also works with Assetto Corsa, Assetto Corsa Competizione. And everything it, it really works and that is pretty pretty good that it still gets supported yeah um, you can buy it and it's it's very pretty easy to it's not even hard to make it ready to work of course there is an USB that's in the PC and on the back there is this I hope doesn't anything work happens this you can plug it in the back and I'll pull it I think no it will Okay, and for the brakes and gas pedal, this. Just plug it in there. And of course, you'll need power. Just the normal for plugs, wall plugs. And that works, and everything is good. Sorry that I talk so weird, this was like one of my first videos ever. Eventually, I'm going to make more stuff. I'm just thinking of what I can do with this channel. But I hope you eventually figured out if you could, if you would want to buy it or whatever. Yeah, and that that was pretty much it. I can drive around here a bit, but I hope that this gets so long. <laughs> but that you enjoyed it, and eventually, who now would consider buying one of those? I can just say it is really worth it. I hope you have a great day or week, and. Goodbye.